it's midnight or midnight isn't trying as always you can choose um welcome back to the setup it's really fucking crooked for some reason it's glitching already um yeah i haven't posted since vacation which was only like a week ago but still i don't know when this will be posted but y'all miss commentary videos. yeah we're back with a commentary video but it's different than what i had been doing it's more like creepy paranormal, which is in my bio on Instagram of what I post. Yes. So I have to deliver that. And if I'm talking weird, this lipstick so annoying. It's matte, so it's like dry. Yeah. <sighs> I'm also wearing black lipstick in this, which is weird. Usually I just wear lip gloss. But I was making TikToks and I was like, I don't want to change my makeup, so we're just gonna. That's weird, I'm wearing makeup too. We're just gonna roll Very weird. with. That. Let's get started. Today we are doing Reddit Glitch in the Matrix stories. Because I find Glitch in the Matrix so, so interesting. Shout and out you... to Loey Lane. Oh yeah. Paige had a big phase, like, what was it, like, right before vacation? Where she watched every single Loey Lane Glitch in the Matrix video. It was like four hours long of just Loey Lane on the TV. Yeah. Is that what inspired you to do this? Not really. Uh, actually, it was my brother, Kobe, talking about Reddit, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have an idea. But yeah, Lowey Lane always inspires me, so I guess technically yes. Um, anyway, these stories are from 12 years ago, because I went to um, Ask Reddit and just put in Glitch in the Matrix, and it was the first forum to come up, so I was like... I didn't notice they were 12 years old until after I had written down all the <laughs> stuff, but they are 12 years old, so... Let's just jump into it. If you don't know what a glitch in the matrix matrix is, um, basically, it's like I think there's a movie called The Matrix. There is. Yeah, that's what it's based off of. I'm pretty sure. Um, it's like kind of like the theory that we live in like a simulation no, in the simulation other universes. In the simulation, in the other parallel universes are glitching. So yeah, that's kind of. Like, our lives are simulated, so they're glitching. Like, the creators glitched us. And, you know, I'm not one to say I, like, fully believe in the glitch in the Matrix, because, like, it's a little outlandish. I'll just be real here. But, like, it is super interesting. And if you believe it, so be it. If you don't, enjoy the fun, creepy stories, okay? Yes. Okay, here we go. Um, the first one I wrote, I wrote down, I forgot the story, and I couldn't find it again. So we're gonna skip that. Okay, we're back. We had to check up on our dog, Ted. Because he was in a deep sleep and he was twitching. It's fine. And we have All a right. cat with diabetes that the last time an animal was twitching here. Bro, do not um, get mad. Anyway, we'll just jump right in. So first is a story I call Spaghetti on the Ceiling Story. Um, from 12 years ago. I have them pulled up on Destiny's phone. If I'm looking down, that's why. So here's a story, word for word. There are two stories that are not word for word, and the other three are the exact forum. So, here we go. This story reads, One time, I split a bowl of SpaghettiOs, and as I was cleaning them up, I noticed one was on the ceiling nine feet up. Like, nine feet on the ceiling. But I didn't drop the bowl on the ground, I just tipped it over onto the counter by mistake. But sure enough, a single O oh, was right there, stuck to the ceiling. That... The, the. Don't know how I got there. Obviously, there's some logical, you know, explanation for that. But it's still, Is there, though? It, it's just so weird. Like if they're if they're telling the truth about literally just tipping it over, it, it should. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't really uh, make any sense. Yeah, that'd be like if I was to tip this cupcake over and then somehow icing was on the ceiling. <laughs> like it does not make sense. No, it doesn't. I don't know. Um, I thought that one was just kind of goofy to put in here, so, yeah. Glitch in that matrix! Spaghetti was on the ceiling! Anyway, here's the next one. It is called, I call it Dad's Camera. Word for word, again. Um, my father died in 2008. A night before visiting in his house for the last time, he appeared in my dream, where he handed, he handed to me a black camera and a plastic bag, specifically said, take this camera, as I won't be needing it anymore, and I took it from him. First thing in the morning, I visit his house, where most of the stuff is already moved out by my uncle, and open one of his wardrobes, find a sealed cardboard box deep inside- wait, what? 
Oh, deep inside. Rip it open with a knife and take out his retro black camera. Apparently, my uncle missed that one and took off all his other electronics but the camera. That is so scary. All I can say is that this experience was a proper communication and it significantly eased my pain, knowing that something remains after a loved one passes. Oh. It's just such either one, a crazy coincidence, or two, this is more of like a spiritual, like ghost communicating with the living. Like, his dad was already dead when he had this dream, which is even creepier to me. So it's like his dad came to him in this dream, and the guy didn't, or the poster didn't say anything, if like the camera meant anything, or was like had anything on it, but still, still. Also, there's not ghosts in the background. The dog <laughs> decided to get up from his sleep sleeping spot and <laughs> sit in front of us behind the yeah. table, so. Um, okay, the next one I have to paraphrase, because I, I, I really like the story, but I lost it and cannot find it. So I'm going to paraphrase. This is not the exact words, so don't. Not my story. Somebody else's from 12 years ago on a Reddit forum. So here we go. Uh, I called it the band room stick. Um, it was about a high school marching band or band practice. And this one person who played drums, like the snare drums, if, if you don't know, they have like two, well, everyone has two drumsticks, but like snare drums have like these big, anyway. And they, um... At this school and my old school, actually, you if you had if you played percussion, you could decorate your own drumsticks. I mean, this guy did that, um, but they, he lost it during practice, and nobody could find it. Like they literally looked around for like ten minutes because they couldn't start without his um, his thing. But then eventually, he just got an extra pair, and they went through practice. And then somebody went into the locked band director's office that had not been opened since before practice when the guy wasn't there with his drumsticks they found his drumsticks which was decorated in the locked room that nobody had been in since before practice they said <laughs> the person put uh we actually it freaked the band director out so much that we stopped rehearsal that day and all just sat there <laughs> talking about it whoa yeah Okay, that one's creepy. It was creepy. It was weird. That I one. wish I could find the real story so I could read you word for word. But it was... It was odd. That one is scary. The I next one, unfortunately, one. also has to be paraphrased. Um, it, I called it Forgot How to Tie My Shoes. But, um... Like somebody posted on uh, the Glitch and Matrix Reddit. It was a really short paragraph. I wish I could find it. But, um... They were 16 years old. And they said they woke up one day, uh, after just doing a normal day before, and completely forgot how to tie their shoes. Completely forgot. No memory. Said they could not figure it out for the life of them. They said they had to relearn how to tie their own shoes at 16 years old after learning at, like, six. That's weird. It was so weird. <laughs> like, obviously, maybe just your brain just forgot. But it's just, like, something like tying your shoes that you do most days, just to forget one day? That's so creepy. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine? Mm -mm. I'd rather not imagine. Yeah. And the last one, um, it's called Disney Picture, which is what I called it. Uh, hold on. I have this on. So, it's a really short paragraph. So I'll just read it to you word for word. Here we go. When my drama class went to Disneyland, they took a big group picture in front of the castle. Like, you know, Cinderella's castle. They took three pictures to make sure they got a good one. The first and last are completely normal. But the second photo has a guy no one's ever seen before. In between two of my classmates, two people, with his arms around their shoulders. No one noticed him when the picture was taken. No one saw him after. Mm. That one is probably the scariest one. Mm -hmm. Uh, obviously people were asking for, like, a picture and proof, but, I don't know. To be fair, this drama class thing was from, like, the 1990s. So, like, him having access to that picture might be slim. Anyway. And. But it was still creepy to think yeah, about, like, is... a random guy appearing. Alright, so this is my size limits reach, but I'm gonna try to get, like, five more minutes out of this. 
I... Um, so we're gonna have Destiny tell her glitch in the Matrix story, whatever you want to believe, really fast, and we're gonna yes. move on. Okay, so right before we were about to leave for vacation, we had just got into watching the Loey Lane um, glitch in the Matrix videos. I was experiencing, like, a few different things. Like, for example, we made it to the hotel, and I pulled out me and Paige's pack of makeup wipes that I had brought. A pink pack of makeup wipes that I got from Dollar Tree. Now, I did buy her sister a pair, but she left it in the room because she completely forgot. Like, we were in a big rush. I pulled three pink makeup wipes out of my bag, which was really, really creepy. But before we even left for vacation, the day before we left, I was trying to make some money. So I found one of my old Melanie Martinez um, drama club necklaces. And, you know, the ch chain and all of that was still on it. This came out in, like, 2021 or 2020 when it first came out. And I left it on the windowsill in the living room because I was like, okay, you know what? Tomorrow I'll take photos, be able to post it online, all that. So I come back up and, you know, I'm about to sit down. We're going to eat some food. I think it was like Taco Bell or something. And I look on Paige's bed and sitting like directly where I sleep was this charm that is really creepy to me because... This necklace is really rare. Like, it's really hard to find. It's hard to get it with this charm. So weird. And if you hold them up, they are the exact same. And I will advocate, we have never owned more than one of this necklace set. One, it's fucking expensive now. And we are poor. And another thing is, like, there's a hole in the bed. This being so set perfectly onto the bed, it would have fallen out by now. It's so, it's so weird. And I never would have seen this except for the day that I found that necklace. And then I was like, okay, well, maybe, you know, it got stuck to my bag. So the necklace charm fell off and all that. But in fact, no, it did not. And they have the exact same rust and everything. No, this is, like, it, it's so weird. It's... Because either, I don't know, either we somehow got somebody else's from somewhere? My only thing is, like, it was perfectly placed on Paige's bed. It was really fucking creepy. Because I know for a fact we don't own more than one set. Because we still have the packaging for this necklace yes. and charms. And we only have one packaging, one chain, and one set of charms. Yeah. And then... And it only comes with one middle finger, correct? Correct. It comes with... I have... Here, I'll put a photo right here. It comes with the middle finger. It came with a strawberry shortcake. And then this Here's wheels... The packaging. And then this wheels on the bus charm. Yeah. And... It I used to wear this around from Hot Topic, but in in when K through twelve was still going on, guys, that's a while ago. Considering Portals is now a year old, a year old, yeah, it's it was fucking creepy. This just scared me because I know it's such a hard necklace to come by, and the fact that the charm was set. Perfectly. This is probably one of the most sought after charms. Yeah, and now we have two of them. After not buying a second necklace, yeah. and we've never bought individual charms, so you've literally. Have one necklace from the original Hot Topic, like, mm -hmm. selling of it. We've never bought resale, so we didn't get, like, an extra charm from somebody. I don't know. I don't know. And the if one you believe in Glitch in the Matrix, this has got to be the story that made me believe something is going on. And another thing is, like, I said, it was set right before a hole. Through all this time of me having this necklace and, like, finding this necklace, why wouldn't I have felt that charm before? Or, like, why wouldn't I have accidentally knocked it down that hole or something? It was set perfectly on the blanket that I lay down on. It was weird. It was fucking it, weird. It's almost like me in another universe lost this charm, and now it got stuck with me somehow in a different reality. Very, very good. There's creepy. actually a TikTok of a girl who has this, like, Steven Universe bug. I'll try to find it. If I find it, here you go. I've, I've just moved and here's the question you know when you move sometimes you pack something in a box and then you go to unpack that box and even though you distinctly remember like wrapping it up and putting it in that box it's just not there and then you like never find it it just vanished in the move i'm having the opposite problem and i feel like i'm losing my mind i lived in florida i had this mug from steven universe i got it in a merchandise grab bag i've never seen one exactly like this for sale on its own this is the only one i had but then when we moved from florida to tennessee and i unpacked two of them 
I have two of them. I don't know where this one came from. I was so confused by this. I even texted my sister like, hey, did you have a mug and I stole yours? And she's like, I don't know where that came from. And then I decided, well, maybe I bought a second one and forgot about it, which does not sound like at all like me, but that is the most logical explanation. So sure, but this one I can't explain. So when we lived in Tennessee, I needed a dish for rings. I bought this cute little turtle. I got it at an antique mall. When I bought it, I distinctly remember I found it on a shelf and I was walking through the antique mall holding this turtle in one hand and a little ceramic Scotty dog in the other hand. And there was definitely just one. It's not a thing that you see every day. I, I can't think of another place that I've seen this. I don't think it's a new item. It definitely seems... I don't think it's an actual antique, but it is probably vintage. Tell me why when I was unpacking just now, I have two of them. I have two of them. And if you look, they even have sticker residue in exactly the same place. I tried to clean the sticker residue off this one and that was the best I could do. And I swear to you, it looked pretty much exactly like this before that. And this one also, if you look, it's a little bit dirty on its head and legs. This is like exactly how this one looked when I first bought it before I cleaned it up and put it on the shelf. What is happening? Am I the receiving universe? Is there like a parallel universe version of me who's unpacking boxes right now and going, I wonder what happened to my Steven Universe mug and my turtle dish? What is happening? Why are things duplicating in boxes for me? How? I, I, what? Okay, I don't know if that was enough time. Um, hopefully. So, anyway, find the video. Lowy Lane actually did use that video, and that's what reminded me of that. Anyway. Yo, Lily, if you want to talk about my story, please feel free. <laughs> it's really weird. Um, I had some more, but I'm running out of time. I will save those for another. If you want to see more Glitch in the Matrix videos or paranormal videos, I would love to make that switch, not gonna lie. Um, even though it is 1.30 a.m. and I am a little spooked out right now. And we're probably gonna have to watch some comforting YouTube. Yeah. Because Fortnite's downstairs, so. <laughs> anyway, how much time I have, because my time limit is reached. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, thank Trees for Oxygen and thank the Matrix. So maybe it won't take something from you. But um I hope you had a good morning, afternoon, night, whatever time of whatever it is for you. And I hope to see you next time for more creepy videos, commentary, vlogs, whatever I want to post. Cuz also happy WrestleMania weekend to anyone who celebrates. Mm. So excited. Very excited. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I enjoyed seeing you. I enjoy you being here. Leave your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoy me, subscribe, like, share the video. Oh. And I will see you next time. Love you. Mwah! Surprise!